Hello everyone, this is Diane. I went to the Stockyards Flea Market today. Let me tell you a little story. It'll be quick. I went down there and I wasn't sure if many people would be there because it had rained overnight and it was still sprinkling or misting a little bit every now and then, but there were some people there. I didn't get much, just, I think just this. And then I had to go to the gym and work out and then I thought, well, I'm going to go back down. The weather was great by then. And I'll, I'll just go back down and see if anybody else showed up. Because sometimes <coughs> the blue van man and the white van man come later. So I went down. And it only takes a couple minutes to get there. So I went down and the white van man was there. But Dave, the blue van man, wasn't there. But I was so glad I went. All I did was buy some things from the white van man. I don't even know his name. And there was a, a surprise item there. I could not believe I found this at a flea market. So I'm going to show that last. That's a teaser. So at first, let me just show you some other items I picked up that weren't at the flea market. I went to the the, the um, church where my son is preaching as an interim pastor. I didn't have to have any responsibilities during my church service at my church, so I went to hear him. And they have a table in the back of the church of just books and flyers and pamphlets and stuff. And it just the sign on it says, take whatever you want. And this packet of recipe cards was there, unopened. It was originally five ninety nine because I took the wrapper off it. And they're matte cards and they're really cute. Just black and white with the little farmer's market. And they're lined on the back too. So I thought this was pretty awesome. And it was free. And I went to Walmart <coughs> sorry, to get my groceries, and this was in the remnant bin. I don't find very many prints in the remnant bin anymore. I'm sorry, I'm having some, you know, my usual. This is 9 inches wide by the width of the fabric, but it's so pretty. I just picked that up. And then this was in there too, but and it was only 81 cents. So I just thought, I'll just have a little bit of gold lame in my stash, and if I need it, I have it. It was, you know, cheap, so I got it. And then, this wasn't on sale or anything, but I wanted some watercolors out of a tube. I have the pan ones, and they were just cheap ones from Walmart, and I just have a lot of trouble getting them to color. Like, they don't soften. Um, I don't get much color out of them. I'll try, I'll try working with them again, but... I thought before I invest in some more expensive watercolors, I just want to try these tube ones. So I got this at Walmart. And I'll use this on one of my play, play days. Now for the flea market. I got a couple of rings for me to wear. There's that one. And there's this one. Isn't that cool? With the rose on it. Kind of big for me. I, I, I'm, I like subtle jewelry. But I thought it was really cool, and the price was right, because they were two for five dollars. And they're vintage rings. They're they're good quality. They're not like, you know, they're costume jewelry. But they're not super cheap, and I like them. I've gotten rings there before, but from a different vendor. And I just picked up this macaroons book, because um, I just love the images of the macaroons. And I want to use them in some journals. So I've got little pictures here that I can make ephemera with. It's a pretty little book. Just some fun pictures and some larger pictures. Look at that beautiful page. And I could just cover that with something. Yep. And even the end papers are pretty. And then from the same lady I got the rings. Uh, she offered this from, to me. For half price. She had several bags. And this one says 25 pairs of earrings. So she gave it to me for $7. And I thought since they're earrings, maybe I can use them for dangles. So let's see if I got my $7 worth. I'll look at these quickly. You won't spend a lot of time. Wow, those are pretty bold. If I can get this back piece off, that would be fun glued onto something. That almost reminds me of a stingray. Oh, that is an earring so I can take that apart and use it 
And there's two of them. There's their pairs. That's cool. Here is... Let's try to figure out what doesn't belong here. That is really neat. I wouldn't wear it for an earring, but look how cool it is. It's got the little gem at the top. Can you see it? There. And this bigger one down here. That's kind of neat, isn't it? Oh, these are pretty. Look at that pretty dangle. And of course, there are two of them. These are ear cuffs. They're hooked together. There, one of the hearts came off when I pulled it apart, but there's little hearts hanging on it. So I can use those. I can use that dangle. That's pretty. I like that. Yes, I'm finding some good stuff in here. That's interesting. Yeah. Another one. I, can you imagine wearing that on your ears? These little gold discs. It's a kind of a cuff also, I guess. Look at this one. Wow. It's huge. I don't know if I'll use that in a journal. There's some pretty pale pink prism type of earrings. I think there's more than 25 pairs in here. Look at these. I think it might be easier, faster to just cut the bag open. That's pretty. Little leaves, lots of little leaves. I could probably color them with alcohol inks. There's a kind of a silvery gray, pearl like uh, drop earring. That would be a good dangle. Some gold ones. Oh, they're pretty. Yeah. I like that. That little horseshoe kind of shape. Well, I'm not going to try to untangle everything, but you can see there are hoops there and some chain and little jingle bells. This one has a cat. So anyway, it looks like I got enough stuff that I'm happy with it. There's another earring with the jingle bells. I will definitely use them. And there's another one of those. So I won't spend any more time. Oh, these are little, just a little stud type of earrings. I don't know if I'll use them. So yeah, I found some good stuff in there, some fun items. But let's move on. So that was all I had, and I figured I wouldn't do a video today. I would just save them and show them with something else. But then, like I said, I went back, and from the White Van Man, I spent $20, I'll tell you that, for everything that I'm going to show you. This was just a little pack of cards. I had gotten some of these before, and they, they, had, um, they were green. But these... Are yellow so I don't know if I would have gotten them if I had known they were yellow the box was sealed but they're fun and really <coughs> he charged me $20 for the big exciting thing I'm going to show you and then 
this other, I said, well, I have these items too. And he said, I oh, will just throw it all in. So I didn't pay anything extra for that or for this or for the sewing patterns. Yes, I got more sewing patterns. So this is from We Are Memory Keepers. And it is a package of journal cards. Look at these with the cutouts. Family. This one's fun. So these were essentially free also. Oh, there's some little pockets at the bottom. Four pockets. Let me see if there's anything at the bottom of this pile. Nope, oh, just more cards. And then the larger cards too. And they're double-sided. And anything I don't like, like, I don't want to use a birthday card, but I could keep the red polka dots. I could make a strawberry journaling card with that and cover the back up, too. And I got some more sewing patterns. These were different eras. They're all vintage, um, and they're not in as good condition as the one other ones that I got recently, but some of them are pretty good. Look at that little gingham dress. This one, unfortunately, it might be the oldest one, but it's torn, but this lady here is still in pretty good shape, and I can use the inside parts too. A nightgown. There's some craft ones in here, catnip cats. This one, I don't know. Oh, I didn't know there were two in here. This is in really bad condition. I don't think I'll keep that one. And the other one's a vest. It's got lots of foxing on it. It looks like it's from the 80s. Here's a craft one with some Scotty dogs. And this doll, she's kind of cool. I like her. From Style. I don't think this pattern company is around anymore. I used to have quite a few of these patterns. Leroy Weldon's. I've never heard of this. I'm going to look that up. I don't know how old this is, but it's a pretty neat looking pattern. I think it looks like it's from the 60s. Just an A-line skirt. And a big top, a big blouse from the 80s probably. A pretty coat, 70s, I'm guessing. A swing dress. This is an embroidered midriff, but it comes with the dress too. It's got geraniums embroidered on it. Not just geraniums, but pots of geraniums. This definitely looks 80s. I used to have an outfit very similar to that that I made in a peach color with the mandarin collar, the button front, the skirt. Here is a family of Victorian dolls and a costume and some blouses and this one. I love this one. This might be 70s. And then I looked right over this on the table and almost left 
And then I took another look and I could not believe what my eyes were seeing. It was a cinch. It's a Heidi swap. We are memory keepers. Cinch. So I am curious to see if a thicker book will fit in there that I can't get into my bind at all. But that, not just this. When he saw me looking at it and he said, I've got a box of stuff that goes with that. And I don't even know everything that's in the box. I saw something on top and I saw at least one set of wires. So we're going to look in the box and see what's there. I, I, there are quite a few, it looks like, of this one item. So I'm going to look at this. I'm sorry it's going to crackle. But I want to see exactly what it is. And then, But I think there are other things underneath. There's a few of these on top and maybe some other things underneath. So this is a um, chipboard cover, fabric covered chipboard cover with the hole. It's got photo sleeves and there's the back and the acrylic or whatever, acetate piece. And a chipboard page. These are pages. These acetate. Oh, here's the back cover. Oh, and it comes with a wire. Oh, cool. Yeah. I don't think that is a one inch wire, though. Let me see. Might be three quarters. It says one cinch coil, and it doesn't say the size of it. I'll just compare it with mine, but it looks smaller than what I have. So it comes with fabric covered chipboard covers, a white chipboard sheet, a white chipboard divider, a clear page, a clear divider, page protectors, and a hello veneer wood word and the coil. And I have one, two, three, four of those. Some more things here. Hello Gorgeous. 8x8 album. Uh, it fits an 8x8 album. Tabbed dividers. So I won't open it, but you can see it's got all these designs on these tabbed dividers. And there are two of those. That's a part of a wire. This one is Project Life, Becky Higgins. These are tabbed cards and then the pages. Wow, these are great. I might be able to use these in my binder journals. I might have to change where the holes are, but yeah, that's great. I love it. Looks like one of those. There's some more wires. These are definitely smaller. These are probably half inch ones. 0.625, so they're a little bigger than half inch. This one doesn't have a size on it. These are not in a package, but they are shaped chipboard pages, album pages with holes. This is from Recollections chipboard kit. And it looks like it will make two albums. Ten large chipboard pages, six small chipboard pages, and seven binding rings. I think the rings are gone. The package was opened. But, yeah, there's no rings. But that's okay. You can buy rings anywhere. And I've got some. I don't know if I'll use all of these things. There's another one of those. This one does have the rings with it. And here's one with some shapes. There's some
some rings. Oh, that's another one. Just like the one I just showed you. Another um, package of these shapes. Oh, wow. This looks like a Project Life album. I think these things... Oh, it's not an album. Look at this. I know these kits are expensive, or they used to be. This is cool. This is the travel edition. Turn it that way. Oh, wow. These are awesome. Yes, very cool. That's what that card says. Very cool. I love the train on that one. And I like the box it comes in. And there's another box here. Looks like two boxes. Two more boxes. And they're all different from the picture on the front. This one says Honey Edition. These are unopened. And this one says Happy Edition. This book belongs to... Wow, these are great, aren't they? I love this. Some of these things are going to have to go in my shop. That's it. That's the last thing in the box. A dirty, I don't know what it's supposed to be, but it's a little card that says Coca-Cola on it. Yeah, that was really fun. So I'm going to have to experiment with the cinch, and I'll let you know how I make out with that. It's It's got a bigger footprint than my Bind It All but I think it will fit on the top shelf of my closet. It's not like I'm going to be using it every day. And um, it punches round holes instead of those oblong, squarish holes. Um, so I'm, I'm anxious to try this. Yeah, I think it's going to be fun. So I, I had a really great day at the flea market when I thought it was going to be, eh. I do like my rings. I was happy with my rings. So I was okay with my first time there, but I'm so glad I went back. So tell me what you think. What was your favorite item today? And um, I will see you in the next video. Have a creative day today. Bye-bye.